Hi everyone, Lorna Evans here. Have you ever, as a hairdresser, sat at home on a Saturday night worrying that whatever look you've created on your client isn't going to last the whole night? So it was definitely one of the fears that I had for many, many years. And so today what I wanted to share with you is a solution that will actually make sure that you can enjoy your Saturday night and your client will actually enjoy hers too because the curls or whatever look you've actually done is going to hold. So let's just get straight into today's tutorial. Okay, so let's get straight into the preparation. So let's have a look at Liz's hair. Liz has got really, really quite fine hair. It's great hair, but it's fine and it's soft. Now this is dangerous hair because it can quite easily fall out. So what I'm going to use to prep Liz's hair today is I always like to start with the beautiful. So I want to keep that shine and keep that beautiful. So I'm going to be popping in the Unite U Oil and I'll show you how much in just a moment. I'm then going to be scratching it up using the Elevate Mousse in the Unite. It's probably one of my favorite go-to products at the moment. I love it. I'm going to be using my beautiful big time saver brush because we have to do this fast and it is definitely one of the things that um, I'm very passionate about is being able to get a really good look faster and quicker and also making sure that I take care of my shoulder. How many of you have got a sore shoulder? If you've been hairdressing a few years you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm also going to be going in and giving it some root volume with this little baby which is the HTZ uh, root volumizer. It's actually magnificent so I'll be able to show you how to do that. Okay so if I just spin Liz around this away let's have a little bit of a look at so we've got some quite nice length to Liz's hair I really love the length of it it's really workable um, and like I said the first thing I need to do is go through and keep the niceness of the hair so if Liz had been a regular client it would have been great for Liz to have popped this in from wet to dry so but that doesn't often happen so or doesn't always happen I should say so it's fine to pop it in dry hair so I'm just going to take a little bit of the U oil I'm going to rub it right into my hands really really important that you rub it right into your hands rather than just coming straight in and I'm going to pop the oil just through the mid lengths and ends of the hair only Thank you. okay so one of the tricks that I've actually found with the mousse is I never ever go straight into the hair and add the mousse from the top all the way through. I always go layer by layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the point of my brush to help to take that section and it's a really big long section. Really nice big long section to it. You might have noticed too, I've actually got my tool belts um, down here as well. I love having everything just straight at my fingertips. It's so much easier. So my mousse is lying in there at the moment. Don't be scared of it. So plenty of product is definitely the key to success here. Because remember the whole thing is about making sure that it lasts the whole night. I'm going to come all the way through from roots to ends. Okay, good quality blow dryer. So this one is the Glam Palm, probably one of my favorites. Now you'll notice as you're watching me blow drying, you'll actually see that there'll be a, a, a little, I'll turn it on so you can see. So you can see when I go from blue to red, every time you see the blue going on on the hair dryer, that's the cool button. So if I was to say to you now, what does the cool button do? I'm hoping your answer is, it is a cool shot. And that's exactly what it is. So as I'm going, I'm gonna be doing high heat, cool, high heat cool and the cool is going to set that product in there so I'll just get to work now
Okay, so I thought it was important just before I finish off the last two sections, just for you to have a look and also for me to talk about the texture that I've just created. When I'm blow drying in mousse, that's why I go section by section because it can get a little bit knotty. So, but once you, if you're working with a really good mousse, it will dry into the hair and then it ends up being like a glass clean finish. But that glass clean finish that I'm creating is workable. So if you look at this section here compared to here, so where I've got loads and loads and loads and I've really have loaded it up with product. But if we look at this section that doesn't have any product in there as, as yet, can you see the difference in the hair is huge. Can you see this down here is definitely workable. Up here is so soft that it would be fly away. So the trick again is all in being able to put a whole heap of product into it and as it dries and yes it is going to be a little bit and I'm, I shouldn't say knotty but it's almost like you've really got to get that product through but a good product as it dries into the hair then dries in so it's nice and smooth. I'll keep going. So I've just blow dried Liz's hair in four sections so the time saver brush really cut that down. But can you see one of the things that we get quite often is we get this little growth around the hairline. So I'm going to directional blow dry that out and to make that really quick I'm going to use our curved comb. So the trick to the curved comb is making sure that where you hold it makes a big difference. So I hold just on the edge of the hair, uh, sorry on the edge of the comb and I'm going to just be working all of this out. So we're just going to come straight in. This is a really cool little tool. So this is called the HTZ and I love the shape that they've actually created so because it contours the actual head as well um, the inside of the plate is a crimping plate but this is the really clever piece to it is this little dial here as I come in it will actually be able to say that's the width of the section that I want to take on Liz's hair so I don't have to do any um, sectioning so let me show you how I work it So now I'm going to section off and I'm going to be using my big tail comb. Honestly, you'll purchase this particular comb once. It's as tough as nails. It's made of carbon fiber. And just like the name says, it's called the big tail because it slides through the hair. So I just wanted to show you that little bit of texture that I've created just to give it a little bit of, a little bit of root volume in there without going too, too much. And I don't need to tee, so I'll be able to keep it nice and clean. So. I'm going to take a horseshoe section from the back of the ear and the comb allows me to come all the way through to the opposite side. 
This is bungee tape. Now I'm choosing today to use the black bungee tape so that you can really see exactly what it is I'm going to be working with. So generally I would be using the clear. So the bungee tape, the trick to it is, is all I'm going to do is cut that into a little point on one side. I'm going to need just a couple of inches. So I'll cut that into another point on the opposite side. Basically going to find the backing and just peel it off just a little bit. All right, I'm just going to pop that on my band so that it's all ready for me. And I'm going to pick up Liz's hair and just take it slightly off centre. You can see, look at that nice little bit of root volume that I've got happening here. Just a little tiny whisker of the Unite hairspray, so nothing too much. So I'm going to take the bungee tape and just pop it underneath my thumb. And take that right around. And can you see that what's going to happen is it's going to stick just basically to itself. So it sticks to itself and it doesn't stick to the hair at all. We're then going to use another piece of bungee tape so that what I'm going to be creating is some distribution to the hair like so. Okay, so I'm going to be using Daniel Rowland Stitch, which um, I use for many, many, many different things. And all I'm going to do is just place the bungee tape over the edge of the stitch. I'm going to come through the hair and out. Now you notice I'm about an inch away from that initial pony. As this comes through, I'm going to peel off the back and let it just pop through like so. Now you can either snip off the end or it just peels off. It's really nice and easy. I'm going to bring over the edge of the ponytail, place one piece down, place another piece up, and can you see what I've created for my low chignon? Okay, the next thing that I want to do is I actually want to be able to create a little piece of padding that's going to, um, to fill in the inside of the bottom of our kimono bun. I'm going to take a tiny little band we call these secret bands and they're just really nice and tiny. I'm going to place that into probably three quarters of the way down. Now where it actually gets placed is depending on how big you want this part of the roll to be. So I'm just going to bring it down to about here. I'm going to give it a little bit of a spritz with some spray. I'm going to go through the outside of that tail and give it a nice little tease. I'm going to leave this sitting here because I'm going to bring down the top, but can you see where we're going to be heading to? All right, but we're going to leave that here and we'll move on to the top area. I'm basically going to place some cards just at the edges on both sides so that I don't have to worry about it when I'm working on that back area. So I'm going to start to do my pinning now. Uh, I really feel as a stylist, your pins need to be right next to you. So you may have seen I have developed a magnetic tool belt. So all my pins that I'm going to be working with are sitting right here at my waist. So are uh, my long fringe pins, so everything's right here. So my job really is to collect the pins that I want to work with and pop them onto the magnet that's sitting on my wristband so that I've now got some work to do easily. So it's, everything's at my fingertips. So I'm going to take the first piece and just with a closed bobby pin, come straight through. 
So this is my king pin. So it's going to really give me a double action pin. So if you look at the bottom, and we'll talk about it as go for gold. So this is basically a bobby pin. So go for gold, it is a basic bobby pin. But what's unique about the king pin that we designed is the top part of it has a almost like a sectioning clip, but it doesn't have all the bulk that a sectioning clip has because we haven't got the spring in it. So let me show you how I work it. So I'm going to just pick up just a little bit of the hair, not the whole lot because the little band has actually caught most of it. And all I've done is come through just with the bobby pin part of the pin, which leaves me now this part here, which of course is like a sectioning clip. I'm going to bring that across. And if I just spin at least that away, you might be able to see a bit better. So I'm turning it, I'm opening, catching and sliding straight into place like so. I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. So. Okay, so let's do the opposite side. So again, we're going to take the king pin, we're going to go for gold, we're going to come through just the top part of this little ponytail because the band has caught all of it. And can you see here's my second part of my band of my pin. I'm going to come around and use that second part of the pin control all the rest of that hair for me. So where I used to have to do one, two, three, four pins, the king pins allowed me to really cut that down. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a ruche, not too much because I like this nice and clean. And the same on the opposite side. just to make it live a little. Just a little polish. So I hope you like our finished look. Um, I really do believe that the right products and the right tools make life so much easier. So if you're interested in any of our tools or even connecting with us a little bit more, um, head over to our website, www.LornaEvansEducation. We've still also got loads of different tutorials on both uh, IGTV as well as YouTube. So thanks very much and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon.